Alright guys, uh, I don't know how this is going to go. First off, if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I've never uh, done anything like this, but I will say this. In the 10 plus years I've been making videos, I've never had a, a company trust me with something this big this early. Uh, I have the Xbox Series X right now on my desk sitting next to me and you guys are watching me on the screen. Now... Thanks to Microsoft, I got this thing early, right? Obviously, there's no launch titles or anything like that on here. That's coming later on in November. But uh, the fact that I have the actual console itself, I have the hardware, the new controller, all that stuff with me. I, I can only show you certain things. I can't show you... I can switch between games. I'm going to show you how fast some of this stuff is. And from here on out, there's no editing in the video, by the way. There's not like I'm going to splice it to the next game or whatever like that. Uh, this is all just going to be me on the menu... I don't know how long this video is going to be. And if you would like what I can do in the future, I can not I can only show you certain things. I can't peruse, you know, peruse the menus right now. I can't be showing you all the different things on here. Uh, and I'm sure the menu is going to change. I know that there's going to be preview updates over the coming month. Uh, I have to download updates as I go. So this, it's almost like I'm on the Xbox One right now. As far as like the menu, it, it's a lot smoother. The startup time you just saw, I had to edit out me, you know, enter my password and all that. But uh, that all that getting to the menu was so much quicker than the Xbox One. I plan on doing a video. This is if you guys want. I'll kind of see how this video does in likes and stuff like that. If you guys would like, I can do a, a video comparing maybe the startup between Resident Evil 2 on the Xbox One, PS4 versus the Series X. And I have a standard Series X. They did give me like an additional terabyte storage. Um, so, you know... I have a ton of ideas for videos. What I will show you, here's all the games I downloaded. Now, most of these, if not all, should be backwards compatible. I know Gears 5, I downloaded it, but it wouldn't start. But that was mainly because they are having a Series X update for that game at launch. So it's going to be like more enhanced. I don't know about Destiny 2. I, I, I kind of want to try that too. Uh, I put that on PC now. I used to put it on PS4. And I want to just, since I kind of know in my mind how long it takes to get to your character. Um, anyways, we'll just kind of check out the loading times. All right, so here's kind of how it works. I'm just going to start up a random game. Now, granted, I selected on all these, so they're going to be quick resume. Here we go. I'm just pressing it. There's no editing. And here's one thing I'm curious about. How it does this. Okay, I'm already in the game. Very impressive. We're at the very beginning of this. You guys remember me playing this earlier this year. This is the last game I played uh, before my daughter was born. It's super dark, by the way. I think we're supposed to like answer the phone or something. Probably not the best game to show you for this start. Since it is a horror game. And I don't think there was any jump scares. Oh, wait. Here we go. The lights. We're not... You know, I'm just... I don't know what the... The goal, I don't want to sit here and say I'm going to start playing these games all on Xbox, but it's like, I really, I don't want to check everything either. Yo, we got some dirty dishes. And I am playing this in 1080p right now. It, now, I can change the Hertz to 120. Uh, I don't quite have a monitor. I'm playing this on a, a 4K monitor, but I don't have quite the editing software just yet for 4K rendering. That I feel comfortable with without my computer crashing. So, uh, I'm just going to kind of leave it at that for now. Let me just... Hold on. I think I'm supposed to inspect some of these notes and stuff. Brad Vickers. I remember that. I kind of want to just like... Take a few minutes in each game that I want to show you. So, right now, obviously, we are... Just here. I know we're supposed to get to the part with Nemesis and everything. I kind of like the phone ring or something like that. Unsold envelope. I think the whole goal for this area was just to like select a few things and then... Bakery bread. Alright, so let's say we're done playing this game, right? The whole point of this is to show you this other thing. Not get in... I get in... That's probably when I play games, right? Okay, so... We're in the game. I don't know if I'll put a time step on it or not, but... I kind of want to... I'm going to look at the clock really quick. All right, I'm going to swap right now. Resident Evil 2. Four seconds, five seconds, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we got there in 10. 10 to 12 seconds, fully able to control the game. Resident Evil 2. Whole new game. How crazy is that? Right? I don't think I've ever... And I'm, I don't know why I'm picking out like the gory games, but like, let me, let me tell you. My library doesn't consist of a lot of kitty games. I guess Ori, I'll play that in a second, but... I'm just, I don't understand like... How it does that. Cause there's like, there's certain things like... Okay, I, I've been playing on PC a lot, right? But you still have to, you know, you go to Steam, you go to... Yeah, I mean, you go to Epic Games, so all, all these different things, and it's like, it doesn't really help you. Uh, you still have to start up the application, and then you still have to, uh, I guess I should, you know, search some of this stuff. You still have to do all that stuff to be able to get to, uh, the actual game. Sometimes they have a third-party installer, sometimes they got anti-cheat that it has to start up to. I mean, there's all these different things. This game, it's almost just like... Or this console in general, like, okay, now we're gonna change it up. Made it to the little star's office with the red herb over there. All right, so we're gonna stop that. Let's go back to the home, or we can just go. Now, here's what's even crazier. <laughs> More horror games. All right, so I'm gonna time this as well. I'm kind of watching my little clock there. I'm not sure what we're at on recording-wise, but we're gonna swap. There we go. Two seconds, three, four, five. I mean, it's somewhere in there. Yo, that was even faster. We're playing Silent Hill 2 now. Congratulations. How crazy is that? I mean, like, yo, these controls, though. <laughs> I forgot how bad. I, yo, man, I love Silent Hill 2. It's, it's, it's my bread and butter horror games. But... This thing didn't... Oh, look at that. And it signs you in. The old Xbox Live. Is that an Xbox 360 symbol I just saw? Hmm. Toluca Lake. Oh, yeah. The map in the car. This... You know what? This game was always crazy. As far as, like, scary plot games go. People don't understand, like, the level of horror this game was when it first came out. It doesn't look like much now. The whole point of the game is... You get a letter from your wife who tells you to meet her here in Silent Hill. Only problem is, a little, little small minor caveat, she's been dead for three years. So it's kind of like, all right, what are we supposed to do with that? No, it's insane. Like, just, okay, look. We're good now. I like how I'm playing all these horror games for some reason. I'm here, Here's what I will do. I'm going to do a test here in a minute. Of all oh, these man, the controls, the camera angle. Oh my goodness. Maybe it's good Konami doesn't have rights to this anymore. <laughs> That's horrible. Should have said that. Alright, here we go. Uh they're gonna make Silent Hill 5 now or whatever. Not five, but one of those, and it's gonna gonna take me out. Alright, we're gonna swap now to Ori. What I'll wind up doing is I'm watching the clock. Hold on. Alright, here we go. Two, three, four, five. Yo, what? Was that even faster? That's honestly insane. I just don't... I, I, I can't fathom. And here's the thing. I don't think there's a limit to how many games you can do like this. I have a couple that I have not started up yet. And I want to test that out in this video as well. But this is just like crazy, man. Like, what? This game is very beautiful, by the way. If you guys have never played this, do yourself a favor. I I play these games when I'm chilling. I didn't save my progress for this. I just wanted to kind of start fresh. But I played, I like, one video on my channel for this. Wait, can I get up there? No? Hold on. I think you can. Maybe I'm just bad. Who actually knows? Oh, well. We're supposed to go right anyways. But yeah, that's pretty much it for these games. The goal now I want to show you is we get this health. We're good there. 
Uh, let me also top off. You know. But yeah, that's isn't that crazy? There's so many more. I want to download some more games on the Game Pass. And what I'll wind up doing is I'll kind of just do reviews for them here and there. Um, but for now, I'm going to look at my... Okay, let's, let's start up something I haven't actually hit go on yet. Um, I feel like Devil May Cry 5 I have not done anything with yet. You know what? Let's try Burnout Paradise. This game was awesome, but actually, I don't know. The Blair Witch. It would kind of fit the theme of all these scary games. All right. Brand new game. It obviously is not going to say quick resume on it. Now, this game is getting a special edition, if I'm not mistaken, when the game comes out. Right? RE Engine. It actually uses the same engine as Resident Evil 2 and 3? I didn't know that. Here's the thing. It's like... Used to, I I mean, I kind of remember. Now, this part, it has to sync and find my data from Xbox One. But it's just... I guess I'm just kind of in, like in awe right now. How fast, even a, a brand new, never, never started up before game. That's just crazy to me. Let's just see time until gameplay type, type moment here. And it, it feels, I mean, I'm going to say it right now, it feels incredibly fast. We'll go to the, the EX color here. Yeah, I mean, the fact that we're already in the game was extremely quick. Okay, I'm just going to start it out. I know we got uh, all the different things. I haven't played this game since, well, it was like March of last year. I haven't played it. Yeah. Dante. That's crazy, man. That's like, just to think about that, it's like, just, I don't know. I play games all the time, and the fact that you thought like, okay, is there like a limit, right? Can we go back to Resident Evil 2 all of a sudden? Let's just, I mean, it's just, it's as fast as that. And I think that's what's crazy to me, is like, I don't quite understand how it's doing it. I just know that I thought maybe, okay, certain games it would be you know, harder to, to maybe process or get it started up, but it's not. It's nothing like that. I think that's just, that's even more impressive to me. I don't know why I picked all this stuff up. Claire's memo. Hope you find this. Uh, the station's done. Get out of here. Yes, ASAP. Claire. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to show you right now. I, I would like to just say I'll, I'll play all these games for a bit and hang out. I think I, I might even do that. Uh, one game I do want to check out, though. Let me just take a look here. Um, Cuphead, that was always a good one. Oh, you know what? Destiny 2. This is perfect because I actually quit out of this. Now, here's the thing. I know how long this takes to normally start up on PC and on PS4 and on normal Xbox One, personally. Uh, I would like to do, if you guys like, I could do a breakdown video. I'm actually going to show, like, a time code thing, uh... I would do like the startup on some of these, how fast it is to get into some of these games. But just from watching this video, hopefully you guys can get like a sense of everything. Let's do this. Now, I know this takes, so, sometimes, I know on PS4 and the normal Xbox One, it takes quite a while. Like, usually we're not already here at this screen. And yes, I play this game a lot. But it's just... It ha it's not fully optimized. I feel like with Beyond Light coming out in November, which is also going to be in the Game Pass from what I'm understanding, um, and it had all the... When I downloaded this, it was on the Game Pass and it had all the expansions right right now, which is honestly crazy because uh, I, I paid like full price on Steam for all that stuff. Uh, but while it seems like a long time, like to get into the game that quickly, this game has not even been optimized for this yet. Here's the thing. Showing your character. Um, God, I'm just like, just looking at all the stuff. The game is still 30 frames a second. My guess is they will. Like, that was insanely fast. I don't know. Mm. But just like inspecting a weapon. Going back out. I mean, it just, it just, that was 
insane. I don't know. I don't even have, like, any idea how that's even a thing. Now we're gonna go from that back to Ori. It, it seems like there's an infinite number of games you can have on that. That, god, that was even faster. That felt like it was even faster than the first time. It, it could also depend on the game's size. Like, this game's obviously not a big game, right? Let's, let's, I, I want to do one last thing before we go, guys. So let's try going, let's do Geometry Wars. Now, I have not started this up. It might have to go through some hoops, you know, to get to, because it's an Xbox 360 title. Got to do this without any editing. Look at that old symbol, man. With the green glow on the inside. I I think for me personally, yeah, that's still that's wow. That is still extremely fast. And now I, I don't know how many games you can have on Quick Resume. By the way, this game is stressful. I'm gonna just I'm gonna go for it really quick. Hold on. We're already here. I've never played this game on my channel. I played it a lot back in the day. I'm not the best at it, but we'll see how high of a score we can get before we get wiped out. And it's going to be stressful. It's that old school. I can't wait for the comments of Brad has a new Series X, plays an Xbox 360 game. Yep, you would be right. But that's the thing, right? Right now, there's not... Like, I have it early, That's and that's amazing. But and there's not, but there's nothing really to show uh, as far as like it's more of a hardware type thing than it is like hey there's a brand new game here. Um, there are going to be a bunch of new games that launch like to get updated for the Series X and also stuff that's you know coming out. I know the Halo. Whenever Halo comes out, this thing's gonna be booming. All right, I already know it. Oh my God! This is it, boys, this is the end. Oh. Got it. Maybe. I hope this music doesn't have coffee right in. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Okay, let's just let's just not blow this out of proportion. I'm gonna download a bunch more games. I here's a few things I would like to try. It, and if you guys like, I'll see how this thing does. You know, I don't normally do content like this. You know, like there's a lot of review channels out there that will give you the, you know, every pair of flop and all that stuff. Oh god! I had it. All like what everything means, but I'm just showing you from personal experience. This thing is extremely fast. I mean, I don't know what the PS5 has. I don't know why I'm doing so bad. Am I falling under pressure? I think I am. I've got a decent high score on this before, but I also have not played this in a very long time. Oh my! Let's think, let's think about this. Let's think about this. Oh god! You know what? I'll take it. That one, Geometry Wars. But that is it, guys. Um, I just think that here. Let's try something out really quick. Let's do. We know we're out on Resident Evil 2, right? So, let's actually start it up. It'll do the little quick thing, the quick resume in the top right. I'm going to quit out of it and then go back to it. Okay? I don't know why I couldn't just quit from the homepage. All right, so now we'll... It's quit. That means it's not going to have the quick resume. Now let's kind of see how long it takes to start up and just kind of general idea of still how fast this actually is. And that's that's what I'm saying right here. It it that look at that 10% down there. That oh my. It you know what? It wasn't even I should have timed that. It wasn't even that much longer than the like the obviously quick resume is a little bit quicker. But the fact that it it wasn't Man, that's I'm just very surprised of how quick that was. I guess, here's the thing. I've always read about all this stuff about the Series X and the PS5. I didn't know much going into this video. Uh, a lot of this you're just kind of seeing off the fly. I just 
saw a quick resume and thought, hey, let's try this thing out. But that's kind of my little early preview. I can't show you a lot more. I'd love to, you know, browse through the whole menu and all that and show you all these little, like, information parts on here and the media. But I, I can't do everything. Uh, but what I can do, if you guys would like to see more backwards compatible Xbox Series X, uh, I guess, games that can be played on here, essentially. Uh, just let, let me know in the comments. I'll kind of see how this video does. I know this is not my normal type video. I usually do like the walkthroughs or the random gameplays or something like that. So I love you guys. Best audience ever. Thanks again, Microsoft, for hooking me up early with this. I honestly, uh, I don't know what to say. You know, it's, it's, it's a crazy thing that you guys hooked me up this early. Uh, and I, I know I'll probably get comments of asking if I'll cover the PS5 the same way I'm kind of doing this. Uh, here's the thing, just being perfectly transparent. Uh, regarding the PS5, I don't even get responses to emails. Microsoft sent this to me without me even asking. So just, just being real. So I don't know. Probably not, but we'll see. I love you guys. Best audience ever. You guys stay classy. Peace.